Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song called No Matter by the Jack Radix. And it's going to start on a D minor, and the way you play D minor, first finger is going to go on the high E on the first fret, second finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret, and the third finger is going to go to the B string on the, on the third fret. And if you strum just D, G, B, and E, just the, kind of the four skinny strings, and that'll sound, you, sound of D minor, it sounds really, really sad. And then from the D minor, we're going to be going to a C major chord. And the way you play C major, first finger is going to go to the B string on the first fret, second finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret, and the third finger is going to go to the A string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a C major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And basically through, through our tune, the easiest way to play this would be doing D minor, and another D minor, C major, C major, D minor. A lot of times with a song like this, to make it more interesting, I like adding what's called a strum pattern to it. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the D minor and just tried that a lot. You have down, down, up, up, down, D minor, down. pattern with, with, with our verse chorus progression and then there's some really cool licks on, on, on this and the first one starts with, with the open B or open E string and then third fret on the B string and then we kind of do that again open E third fret and then we go open E and then first fret on the B open E first fret on the B open could be kind of a cool little lead part to do but then doing some double stops or some notes together can sound really good too doing first fret on the B string with the open E and then going to third fret on the B string and second fret on the G string and then doing that again first fret on the B open E and then third fret on the on the B second fret on the G and then what I like to do what where you got second on the G string with the open E but then go to first fret on the B string for the open G and then go back to second on the G string with the open E, and then open G with the first fret on the B. So you got one and open, three, two, one and open, three, two, two and open, one and open, two and open, one and open, which can be kind of a cool thing to kind of add. And then there's some other licks that kind of sound similar to that, where you could go sixth fret on the B string with seventh fret on the G string. And then go to 5th fret on the G and the B string at the same time. And do that twice. And then we do that whole thing twice. So you got 7, 6, 5, 5, 5, 7, 6, 5 together. And then you could go to 3rd fret on the B string with the 5th fret on the G. And then go back to the 5, 5s. 3, 5, 5, 5, 6, 7. cool guitar licks that kind of happen later on in the tune too. And the first one kind of happens 5th fret on the G string, and then you go to 7th on the D, and then 5th on the D, and then kind of do that again, 5th fret on the G, and then 7th fret on the D, and then back to 5th fret on the G twice, and then 7th on the D, and then 5th fret on the D, and then back to 5th on the G, and then 7th on the D, and then 5th fret on the D. So you got five, seven, five, five, seven, five, five, seven, five, five, seven, five. It's kind of like a cool D minor lit. Five, seven, five, five, seven, five, five, seven, five, five, seven, five. And then from there, that then for the C chord, it kind of goes fifth on the D, and then seventh on the D, and then A string on the seven, and then back to five on the D, and then seven on the D. 
and then back to five on the D, and then another five on the D, and then seven on the D, and then seven on the A, and then five on the D, and then seven on the D, and then back to five on the D. So you got five, seven, seven on the A, five on the D, seven, five, five, seven, seven on the A, five on the D, seven, five. So all together, then you got five, seven, five, five, seven, five, five, seven, five, five, seven, five, five, seven, seven, five, seven, five, five, seven, seven, five, seven, five, 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 five, seven, seven, five, seven, five. Which is kind of a cool lick they kind of work on. And then there's another one that kind of works out of a slide lick where you start third fret on the low E and then go to fifth fret on the low E and then third on the A and then fifth fret on the A and we kind of slide that to seventh fret. So you kind of play the fifth and kind of keep a little bit of pressure on it to get the, the sound to kind of carry the seventh fret. So you got three, five, three, five, seven, and then we go five on the D. And then seven on the A, and then five on the A. Oh, oh, seven five is kind of kind of a pull off. So you're kind of doing the seventh fret on the A, and kind of letting the finger fall off the string to carry the, the sound back to the fifth fret on the A. So it's five, seven five pull off, and then we go back because it's kind of a slide to third fret. So you got a pull off from seven to five, followed by a slide to third fret, and then we kind of end with a third fret to fifth fret slide the first time. So we got three, five, three, five, seven, five, five, seven, three, three, five, slide. And then the second time you just end on the three. So then you got three, five, three, five, seven, five, five, seven, or seven, five, three, three. kind of a cool lick to try and add to. Something else that could be kind of cool is, is with, with that intro pattern, like with the chords, you can almost kind of get the lick that we're doing around the chords to work in the strum pattern by using a couple other chords. And, and what I mean is instead of starting on a D major, it almost seems like, like since they're doing an open E string that you'd be doing something called a D sus2. And what a D sus2 is, is if you took the D minor chord that we're playing and just lifted off the first finger, so you have second finger on the G string, second fret, and third finger on the B string on the third fret, and you still just strum just the top four strings. So you could do that, you could do the D sus2 for the first D, or D minor, and then go to the D minor chord. And then from there, then we could go to something called C major nine, where if you're on the C major chord we talked about, and you take your pinky and add them on the B string on the third fret, so you got first on the B string first, um, second on the D string second, third finger on the A string third, and then the pinky on the B string in front of the first finger. And I know that I'm kind of doing this to make the chord change easier later. There's other ways to play this chord too. But that's called C major nine if you strum all the strings with that. So you can do the C major nine for your first C chord and then go to the C major. So then your verse chorus progression would end up being D sus two, D minor, C major 9, C major. So we tried that with our strum pattern. Then we have the D sus2 down, down, up, up, down, D minor, down, down, up, up, down, C major 9, down, down, up, up, down, C major, down, down, up, up, down, D sus2, down, down, up, up, down, D minor, down, down, up, up, down, C major 9, down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, up, down, up. Now another way to do it, between those chords is kind of making a lick out of those two chords like the, the D sus2 and the D minor and then making a lick for the C major 9 and the C major. And one way to do that would be taking the strum pattern, the down, down, up, up, down, up, and then syncopating it and making the chord change on an upstroke. So this is kind of weird, but if you took the D sus2 and did the down, down of the strum pattern and then went to the D minor on the up and then the up, down, up. That would be kind of cool because it almost sounds like you're doing the lick with the chord. So you got D minor with the D sus2 down, down, D minor on the up, up, down, D sus2 on the down, down, D minor on the up, up, down, up. And then you do the same thing with the C major 9 to the C. So you have C major 9 on the down, down, C on the up, up, down, C major 9 on the down, down, C on the up, up, down, D sus2. 
to down, down be minor love, up down B sus to down, down be minor love, up down C major nine down, down C on the up, up down C major nine down, down C on the up, up down up. of how you could play No Matter by the Jack Raddick. So good luck!